especially starting tonight or even during the day tomorrow, you may want to change that flight or even reserve flights for Wednesday because that may be the earliest time that you can get out of here. Let's find out when this storm may release its grip on New York as we go to our winter weather expert, Paul Coaster. Paul, good morning. Good morning, Jim. The storm's going to release its grip on New York mm, Wednesday. Sorry. But in the meantime, there's going to be a lot of changes going on in New York. There's going to be some heavy snow later this evening. It still looks like it will change to rain. Actually, tomorrow might be a little bit of a let up as the storm kind of waits around for the second system. Then that storm really intensifies, and tomorrow night into Tuesday morning, that's when we could see the snow again in New York. So all told, it looks like at least 6 to 12 inches in New York. Several inches today, several inches at the end. It's going to be hard to figure out uh, exactly what they're going to get, but just to the north, that's where we're going to see one, two, and even three feet of snow. Why? Storm that moves very, very slowly. Let's take a look right what's going on right now. We see that precipitation rapidly moving in towards Pennsylvania, raining in Pittsburgh, but snowing through the rest of Pennsylvania. That will be the story. This will continue to move towards the east. Philadelphia, you'll probably stay mixed precip. Baltimore and Washington, it's rain, and it will be that way until we see that storm really take off later tomorrow and tomorrow night. And that's when we're going to see full-fledged blizzard conditions because that's when we're going to see tremendous amount of snows across the interior of New England, and the snow will begin to wrap around back into the major metropolitan areas. Um, they will obviously not get as much snow, but it will be serious looking conditions and experienced conditions. This is what we're expecting in terms of total snowfall. The heaviest snow will be across interior Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, eastern New York, and much of New England, but the changeover will be on the coastline. New York, you'll be on the edge of the heavy snow. Philly through Washington, you'll be getting most of your snow towards the end of the storm. In Boston, expect more than a foot of snow. You'll be very close to the changeover, but just to your west, that's where we'll have tremendous amounts of snow, high tides as well. Let's throw it, toss it back to the studio. Thanks a lot, winter weather expert Paul Kosin. And as he mentioned, later on this evening, a brunt of the storm will be coming in, especially across portions of northeastern Pennsylvania and central Pennsylvania. By tomorrow morning, though, many locations here Albany, Poughkeepsie, as well as around Scranton, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, you're all going to be dealing with snow. New York City as well. That could make it very difficult, for, especially for those of you trying to head to the airport and trying to get. How about the highways? Here's Bob with a check on them. Well, if you're hitting the road today, here are a few highways you'll need to watch. Let's begin with an I-95, New York City to Philadelphia. Expect that wintry mix. I-85, some thunderstorms between Raleigh and Charlotte, North Carolina, and I-80 from Sacramento. That's all associated with the making of that winter storm in the northeast, by the way. But it's also got a double 